join me on another fossil hunt. In this video we'll be looking for some much rarer and a lot harder to find fossils. These are also quite a lot older than the usual ones we find. But first let's make our way down to the secluded beach. The tide is still very much in, it's currently high tide so we need to make our way along the cliff top path. Hi everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. Today I've come to a different beach from the usual. We're going to be looking for some rarer lower Elias ammonites. So these fossils are mostly quite older, these are 200 million year old, whereas the ones which I normally find are 180 million year old. I'm currently just making my way across the cliff top path. It's currently high tide, so I'm making my way around, hoping by the time I get down onto the little beach area where I'm going to find the fossils I'll be able to access it and have a look amongst the pebbles. Anyone who's familiar with the area I collect fossils in, Whitby, will recognise them famous red roofs over there. That town is Robiners Bay. I've just walked through that and I'm making my way towards a beach called Boggle Hole. A bit of erosion on the cliff top half here. You can see the cliffs over and there. It's eroding at a rapid rate. No fossils in them though. So this is the youth hostel. I imagine it's a really nice place to stay. You're right on the beach front here at Boggle Hole. Due to a recent landslide, the pathway has been diverted, so I'm having to find that other alternative route now. So we're assuming it's this one, a public bridal way. It's the first one we've come to, so it must be that one. Lots of little lambs in this field. So it came in a little bit dark and it decided to rain a little bit so hopefully it blow over soon luckily i had my rain mask almost there now so here we are stoop beck beach looks like there's a few pebbles on there for us to look through so i'm gonna have a quick sneaky little look this little bit here then i'm gonna make my way back towards the right hand side So the first few finds of today is this lovely little Gryphea, Devil's Toenail, right here. And there's also a tiny little pebble with some crinoid remains showing. So we're going through the beach pebbles, looking at anything a little bit different. It might not be the rarest finds that we pick up today. You never know what might crop up, you just have to be out there to find it. Two more lovely little bits of crinoid here. Nice rounded pebbles. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's a very large variety of all different fossils found on the beaches around Yorkshire and I'll ship your orders to most countries. Thank you. So this is a lovely little find. I think it might be soft rock, maybe even shale, but it's got lovely little crinoid stems there. They almost look like little stars. Searching the tide line to see if anything interesting is being washed up. I did spot this one little pebble with a few little interesting signs on the outside. So 
so I've just split this tiny little nodule open and there's a tiny little shell here very small quite brittle but there is also a very very little ammonite inside and that's the first ammonite of the day I'll probably take that little one back but hopefully find a little bit better maybe it's not even showing up on camera it's that small so that's a big part of a larger ammonite not sure what species it's very sea worn but you can see the suture marks there probably leave this one even though it could polish up So I've got this little pebble here with some really small gagatisserus inside. So I'm going to give it a split. There's nothing showing on the outside that would tell me there's a full one inside. So let's see how it goes. So there we go, we've got a split going around the unfortunately partial ammonite already. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it would have been a little bit more complete, but it's broken in the split. But that's okay, it wasn't amazing to begin with. We'll look for more. I've just noticed right there, there's another tiny ammonite. Not sure what that species is there. Maybe it's a baby Gagatisserus. So we have got something right here. A lovely ammonite keel sticking out. Not really sure what that one is. I'm going to prepare this one rather than hitting it. Because I'm not going to risk breaking another one. So my dad's not very used to finding these type of ammonites. He's usually looking for the more common dax. But he did find this little Gagatisserus. It's only a partial but he's been using it as a little guide to see the type of rocks to find and he's just showed me this one he's picked up it's got a complete one you see the lovely looking keel sticking out there very nice better than what I found today something a little bit different there that's a cardinia shell I think the species is called nice little coloured one a little bit sea warm but that's what you expect to find them like. So I'm having a look around here, my dad's just there and I've just spotted a lovely ammonite. Looks like a normal dak. I've not placed it, this is exactly how the sea has washed it. Very nice. So that's the usual type of ammonite you find here, a dactylioceros. But always worth picking them ones up. So we've found another erratic dactylioceros ammonite nodule I'm going to give it a crack might be a little bit thin but you never know right, nice little break there lovely Nice split on that dactylioceros. So my dad's calling me over again. He sounds excited, like he's got something quite good. Let's find out. He says it looks different to the usual. Oh yeah. An already beach prepped ammonite here. And it's a little gagatisserus. You definitely got your eye in from today. So I've just picked this up and these are a different type of ammonite, these are called Paltechioceros and now it doesn't look like it's a complete one but I'm going to give it a go and see what we can find underneath it, maybe we'll get a good middle. I don't think it'll take too long to crack open. There we go. That's a nice negative impression of one, but really one in this one underneath. So I'm going to give it another tap. So 
so if you can see there we have got a nice middle underneath it so it is now time to take this one back and I will prepare it at home don't want to ruin it when it could be a really nice one surprise there's nobody out so far it's a beautiful day now the rain's cooled off a bit so we've just come across an ammonite here it's in the shingle at the moment it could be a tenucostatum ammonite but will it be complete let's find out looks like it ah oh, never mind just half of one so there's quite a decent sized ammonite in here it's stuck in the rocks still it looks a little bit crushed there but i'm going to get it out and then split it open and see what it's like there we go it was a big bugger but I'm going to leave it where it is because it's not very well preserved on this occasion. might notice there's a seal there it's still got its brown fur on so I guess it's quite a young one so I'm just starting to make my way back towards the car quite a long walk still and there's plenty of chance of another nice fossil find so I'll keep my eyes peeled and see what I can find now the tides have gone out a little bit further I'll be checking in the areas that I couldn't before so I've just come across this lovely little ammonite here. It's a Gagatiferous species. It needs a middle clearing out, but it should be all in there. Happy with that. So I've just come across this nice little pebble here, and there's another ammonite sticking out. I don't think that one's a Gagatiferous, so it must be something a little bit more rarer not quite sure what it is but I'm not gonna pop it with my hammer I'll keep it I think we've had a really good day today I've really enjoyed being out on this particular beach and even though the finds are quite slim sometimes it's actually really rewarding when you finally get one hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one